Well, it's I've like been in the past. Oh, you haven't driven it. I've been in the passenger seat of it, and it's right. scary. The story behind this truck. This is Sean's truck. This is one of our employees who works on the park side. Uh, it came from his girlfriend's family. It's kind of like the workhorse, I guess. And we've been using it here now that Sean moved down. But it's really rough. So not only does yeah, it kind of look rough, the interior. No, the interior is really bad. The seat's not even bolted in. So like when you're yeah. driving, you hit the brakes, it feels like you're gonna fly out the windshield. It's not safe. So we need to make this thing cool. We had an issue with the truck. Oh no. So you know how I used it to move the boxes and move all the stuff. And it, it worked fine. And then I had an issue and basically like, I had like no brakes and I slammed the front, the front bumper into into this pole. <laughs> so, it was pretty up. I don't know. So, uh, I feel bad. I wanted to make sure I told you. Nate and Vic kind of pulled in and I wanted to look at it with you, so I want to show you. Come on, you gotta unlock it from that side. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's show them how bad this truck is. Dude, it's like stuck. Put all these door cards, it's trash. Actual buttons, piece me missing. This thing's gonna transform, dude. Wait, I think I locked it. Damn, you think we should have cleaned the hood first? First off, this paint is just like clocked out. Oh, there's so many things about this truck. It's got 228,000 miles on it. The passenger door is broken. It doesn't shut all the way. You can't open it from the inside. You have to roll the window down to open it. The lock doesn't work. On the driver's side, the tailgate takes 20 minutes to open. It's got a bunch of just dents and bruises all around. Suspension is just totally clapped out. The seats aren't really bolted down. So we've got mixed match tires on these rims, which is a huge no-no. Wild jumbo in the back. Who's gonna clean that up? Oh, we're gonna clean this thing up real nice. Yeah, yeah, Evan just went in the back room. So we're all... <laughs> it was like, oh, You know, it really worked. It was yeah. on that too, yeah. Oh, I didn't even, I, mean, yes. I didn't think about it. I wasn't like going fast. I was like just trying to stop and then just didn't work. So, um, here, let's go see. Just kidding, Sean. We're pimping out your truck, bud. Woo! No wheels, new door. Brakes, lights, everything. Oh, f you got me. Dude. <laughs> I thought he it. <laughs> so Ricky was lying. Those are for this. Are no for this, way. Dude. Brand new. Holy f tires, all new shocks, pretty much everything. It's gonna be done. That's all new. I'm fluids, so stoked. He got me so good. I wanted to thank you because you guys, you have been letting us use this yeah, for actually a while. We've been using it back and forth to the storage unit, wherever we, we needed, but there's some things that need to be fixed for sure. It's a little bit rough, but I think after all this, it's going to be though, because that's the brakes. I told <laughs> He's like, oh man, I knew it was the brakes. <laughs> I fixed the brakes so many damn times, I thought it was the brakes. Method, method wheels. This was Nate's pick right here. No Bronze, way. Falcon, Wild Peak MT. So these are these are peace, dude. We got Mobile One oil. We got Mobile One oil filter. Uh, full coolant flush with peak coolant. We got new leaf springs, new shocks all around. Replacement door. So this thing not only is it dented up, but it just doesn't close very well. Brake pads, new lights all around. So headlights, tail lights. Even the little reverse light, uh, the bumper lights, everything's blacked out too. So black grill, all new bumpers, it's black. Uh, and you wanna see the color? Actually, we'll save that for last. We'll save that. No way. Yeah. These are tow mirrors. Oh, so sick tow mirrors. Big, uh, 
Oh, Should we show them the color? Should we make them wait? It's all coming out of your next baby. <laughs> <laughs> what do you wait? Wait, no, you gotta guess what it is first. What do you think it is? I think it's throttle orange, but. Right. Throttle orange. <laughs> throttle orange. <laughs> oh! Nardo Gray. Oh, Avery no, Goss no. Dark Gray. Oh, damn. Woo! It all blacked with the, out. With the bronze, too. Oh, my God. Really, really tough. I'm so good. <laughs> All right, so now that we've got all the parts laid out, I think the next thing to do is just start on the project. So here we go. Beautiful floor, man. Ooh, hot Cheetos, baby. <laughs> <laughs> These are the center caps for the wheel. For that one? For the oh, new wheel. Oh. What are you trying to pair? Oh, whoa, whoa, you can't show that on YouTube. Wanna make your car awesome? <laughs> this is all you're, you're missing? I need, there's top and bottom. There you go, brother. Go to Advanced Auto Parts for that. All right, well, we got the door off. We've got our new door here. This is just a crash parts repair door. I've already swapped over a bunch of the rubber trims and moldings. I razor bladed the, the glass and got that back in the slats. Nate actually ran off to the parts store and picked up some new bushings. He's like a copper bushing that goes on the hinge here. One of the reasons this door got completely destroyed was because these bushings wore out and they were never re-replaced. Re so the door starts to sag when these wear out and it doesn't line up with the catch and then all of a sudden you've got a broken latch. <laughs> and then I guess in Sean's case, he just kept slamming the door harder and harder and that broke the door panel too. <laughs> so we've got a bunch of stuff to replace, um, but these are a good start and these will get us back on the right track. Gonna need to spend a little bit of time aligning it, probably another 30 minutes or so to get it aligned. It's drooping a little bit in the bottom, but overall the door fits really good. Uh, shout out to Sean and Nate for helping me get it fitted up because I can't do this by myself. So, uh, yep, tomorrow we will uh, get it finalized in its location and we'll get the regulator and the window back in and that door will be done.
All right, so the hood had a ton of sun damage. All the clear coat was actually failing. Sean and I are gonna start with 320 grit, wet sanding, go up to about 800 grit. That should prepare the body for the wrap. All right, well, as you can see, the guys are working on this truck from every angle. Ricky's working on brakes, brake pads, brake rotors, shocks. We got some new ranchos here for the front and rear. And Sean, who is the owner of this truck, if you aren't aware of that already, is getting the paint prep for the vinyl wraps. Ricky, you made quick work of that, dude. Yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah, right. So the brakes went right on. Still gotta hit them with some brake parts cleaner and get them ready. Ricky's moving on to the shocks now. As you can see, these have seen better days. But huge shout out to Advanced Auto Parts because we literally made one order for this whole truck. They had everything in stock, which allows us to actually do all these projects at once and make it real easy and get it all done quickly. I'm replacing the uh, rear shocks. When we remove them, they look extremely bad. They weren't even uh, going back. Uh. So this is Sean's old strut that was in there. As you can see, we compressed it. It didn't even come back. So basically Sean's just been riding around on springs. And this thing should be riding like a Cadillac here in a minute. Okay, well as part of the upgrade for this 1997 Chevy 1500, we're gonna go ahead and replace the battery. This has a standard lead acid battery in it. This battery is prone to spilling the acid out if we're going off-roading or doing some crazy driving. We're gonna go ahead and put an yellow top Optima AGM battery in here. The Optima battery is gonna provide a better uh, shock absorbency. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss the Optima yellow top in here. We know it's a superior product. It's gonna do this truck just fine. Looks like Ghost Straps has arrived. All right, let's go. The day is finally here. Today we are getting the truck wrap. So our new friends over at Ghost Wraps are down here. Uh, they're actually from Carlsbad, California, so pretty close. And they're gonna be helping us wrap the truck today. <laughs>
Got you guys some good old VIP boxes. Oh yeah, yeah dude. Did a great job. Thank you. Thank you, man. Phenomenal. I'm done. Wrap the truck in eight and a half hours. That's not bad. One day. All right. So Ghost Wraps came last minute. Got the truck done in one day. We're absolutely shocked by how it turned out. It looks amazing. So thank you guys for making it. Anytime. Yeah. It looks awesome. Thank you. Super stoked. Uh, if you guys can follow Ghost Wrap, uh, if you guys want any wrap done or need any wrap done, let me know. DM me. I also want to thank uh, Throttle and all their team for reaching out to me and making this happen. It's a, it's a blessing. Thank, thank you guys. guys. Yeah. Again. Thank you guys. Bud, you got any oil on this thing? <laughs> it just it's like drips. She going now? <laughs> Dude, you've been riding around with no oil. Wait, you're playing, right? Dude, bro, that's like Angie my syrup. <laughs> Is there metal on it? Yeah, look at all of it. And it's black. I said I need an oil. Oh, you need more than a whole chamber. <laughs> She's in pretty bad shape, brother. You're gonna need a LSB tech swap. <laughs> um, wow, Sean. I thought I knew you, bro. Uh, no oil came out of this truck. Like, literally, like. Excuse me? A quarter. <laughs> like a no quarter oil? A quarter of a quart came out. Dude, what have you been doing? No Let me oil. Not putting oil in it, yeah. that's for sure. You got some explaining to do, bud. I didn't think it was that bad. I said I needed an oil change, but. You needed oil. <laughs> <laughs> It's like really bad. Victor's like, yeah. Victor's like, it's hard. <laughs> That's how my soupy looks. All right, well, Ricky just got done putting in the spark plugs and the spark plug wires. This thing's run like a top. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and use some peak coolant products and uh, knock this out. And then this thing will be all fresh and ready to rip. All right guys, that is going to do it for this episode of the K1500 OBS truck build. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This one was pretty fun. Uh, something totally different for the Throttle YouTube channel. I know there's a lot of people who are watching this that are into this kind of thing. So if you are, if you'd like trucks, please be vocal in the comment section and leave us the big thumbs up down below. That really helps us kind of gauge the interest on this style of content and this type of vehicle. And if you guys want to see it, we will make more content for sure on it. So just want to say one more time, thank you so much to Advanced Auto Parts 
Peak Auto and Ghost Wraps as well for making this project possible for Sean. I know he's super stoked. Uh, he just grabbed me a second ago. He wants to say something on camera. So let's leave it over to Sean. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hey guys, just want to come in here and kind of conclude the end of the video and give a huge thank you to everyone involved. I mean, the truck turned out amazing. I couldn't be more happy. Special thanks to Advanced Auto Parts and Peak Auto for sponsoring this build and making this all happen. We can't forget about Ghost Wrap for coming in last minute, killing the wrap. It looks great. Falcon Tire, thank you so much. They look amazing on the Method race wheels. Please comment down below. Let us know what you guys think about this truck content. If you want to see more of truck content or more specifically on this truck, let us know. We're going to be reading all the comments. We're super excited to see what you guys think about this. And lastly, a huge shout out to Throttle. Everyone here, Mickey, Ricky, Nate, Victor, Evan, Rick. Thank you guys so much for making this happen. I've always wanted to do it myself, but never did it. So this means a lot to me and I'm super pumped on how it turned out. Hey Mickey, I heard you needed a hand. Not a good time, bro. <laughs> I really just gave you a hand. Correct, yeah. Can I get a high five for giving you a hand? What the hell, Mickey? <laughs> Sean came out here to give me a hand. Uh, I need passenger side. Sean came out here to give me a hand. This is what he left me with. Broken dashboard. Uh, come on, Sean. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, All right, so right now I'm under uh, the Sean's trucks. All right, so I'm under Sean's truck right now. All right, guys, so you guys can see I'm under the truck of Sean's vehicle. I'm under Sean. All right, guys, so as you can see, I'm under... Uh, you know, trucks, shunts. Take three! <laughs> <laughs> you wanna try to balance it on my hand? How was the monolith? Fucking sick, eh? Really? We're going doorless, like a Jeep. Is that my handy? No, that's mine. I think you stole my handy. Uh, I made the computer. Yeah, they put it back. Okay. Somebody's GoPro is here. Oh, uh, really really Fortunately, fun. Ricky's not here today, so Ricky was really good. Ricky lied to him the other day because he saw the wheels and he was like, "Whoa, I haven't seen these. What are these for?" <laughs> and Ricky was like, "Oh, is it for the Raptor?" Yeah. <laughs> Did you know them too out there? Dude, I've known for months. Know. They, they was behind it. On. All that <laughs> in that room's been for you this whole time. I've been bitching about it. <laughs> so, yeah, so I got a new tailgate. New tailgate. Uh, new door handles. It's weird because I almost bought a tailgate the other day. Sean, you want to show them how the tailgate works yeah. right now? <laughs> Gotta do this. I can never figure it out. I can get it to work. It might be busted completely, honestly. I couldn't get it to work the other day. Those wheels are so heavy, dude. I can barely pick it up. There you go. So it takes 10 Pop minutes to open. back in. <laughs> Drive it with your fingers. Two hours later. It does work. How many, how long have we had to keep this a secret? At least like 60 days, The, the days. crazy thing is, is that the parts are so big for this that we've been, we've moved them from the kitchen to out here. Yeah. So you saw the leaf spring. You saw the leaf spring. You those, thought it was for the ice cream truck. Those are what was right there? Yeah. yeah. Man, you saw the wheels? <laughs> the wheels are what I was wheels. You saw the wheels? Ricky, I was like, what bolt pattern are these? Can I get these off you? Yeah. They're gonna there was a sick. door over there. I guess you didn't even notice the door. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be pretty sick. I want to shake. Yeah. yeah. It's You're gonna gonna be old trucks gonna get air freshener needs new. to be replaced. Accurate stickers getting removed. Yep. <laughs> it's funny because you got everything that I was always well, gonna do. Well, Nate, well, Nate helped. Yeah. Nate helped pick everything yeah. out. So. Uh, like even the shocks, we, we decided to keep the same brand. They actually were available on Advanced Auto, so that's pretty cool. Um, so we just got all new stuff for everything. And the lift kit on here is nice. It's a nice yeah. lift kit. It's got the rough crunch. Yeah. Yeah. So. 